Thousand Autumns, is a Meng Shi Shi novel. This is an audiobook made by fans for other fans. Disclaimer. The main couple of the story is made up of two men, if you don't like it don't listen. Thank you. Remember. Subscribe and click the bell to stay updated on all the new releases. Enjoy. Chapter 127. What place do you think my Shizun has brought him to? Yu Shenzhen asked, time saturated, he leaned against the veranda, currently he had a stalk of grass in his hand, playing with the deer, he was a little surprised, as Shizun was not one to cherish small children or animals, how did he suddenly get a pet deer here? The head manager smiled, if you're curious, why don't you follow them and find out? Yu Shenzhen shook his head rapidly, I am definitely not doing something that speeds up my death, it's only that the day after tomorrow will be the fight, and it looks as if Shizun is not concerned in the least, truly a case of the emperor doesn't worry, but the eunuchs worry to death. You've been at Shizun's side before I became a disciple, you must understand Shizun's thought process better than me. The head manager bowed slightly, I am unfit for E.R. Lang Jun's praise, master's thought process is unfathomable as the sea, not something I can decipher, but in master's dealings, he usually walks one step and predicts three steps, this time the fight with Hulagu, is probably the same, master has auspicious fortune in all things, surely he will emerge unscathed. Yu Shenzhen couldn't help smiling, this head manager held Shizun in the highest esteem, from his words one could see that in his eyes, there was not a single fault to be found on Shizun. Tell me honestly, the county's open betting pool, did you put in a wager? The head manager opened his eyes wide, then coughed quietly, mumbled, a small sum. Yu Shenzhen pressed further, how much is a little? The old head manager, around 20 Liang. Yu Shenzhen, that little? You just said Shizun is bound to win. The head manager laughed, a small bet for fun, does it have to be everything I own? If you're bored, you should go wander around town, there's now countless Jianghu people gathered there, an opportune time to cross paths. Yu Shenzhen, with the fight looming, I won't be going around causing trouble. He really wanted to follow Yan Wushi and Shen Qiao into town to see the action, but back then he had stupidly slighted Shai Zun, so now he could only be an honest turtle withdrawn to the residence, distractedly chatting with the old head manager. The head manger seeing that he was in low spirits, moved to a different topic, then as you see it, the place master and Shen Dea Zhang have gone, why don't we bet on it? Yu Shenzhen, what will we bet? The head manager smiled, that set of Han Dynasty Jade Flask and Jade Cups I received last time, hasn't E.R. Lang Jun had his eye on it for a long time, how about that as the prize? Yu Shenzhen had recovered a bit, sat up abruptly, then I'll use that set of glass wiki that Shikshan gifted me. When they get back though, I'm not brave enough to go up and ask them, how will we know? Head manager, that's easy, Shen Dea Zhang is easy to talk to, we'll ask Shen Dea Zhang when he gets back. Yu Shenzhen, they will definitely eat a meal while they're out, that can't be counted, Shai Zun bringing Shen Dea Zhang out, it can't be solely to have a meal. The head manager nodded, then I'll guess, they've perhaps gone to visit a friend, Right now Funing County is a myriad of masters, even Ruyan Gongju is here, master has probably brought Shen Dea Zhang to meet an old friend. Yu Shenzhen laughed haha, Zhang Shu, you're going to lose your prized possession to me. Head manager, smiling, E.R. Lang Jun hasn't even made your guess yet, how do you I've lost? Yu Shenzhen, by Shai Zun's character, why would he pay someone else a visit, as for Ruyan KY they've already crossed paths, Shai Zun will likely not seek him out again, the day after tomorrow is the fight with Hulagu, 
right now he should be conserving his energy. The head manager, confused, then you mean. Yu Shen Jun, life's four joys, eat, drink, sex, gambling, I'll guess, if they're not at the gambling house, then the brothel. He'd never heard that the four joys of life were these four. Head manager, master has all sorts of beauties waiting to throw themselves at him, this residence also has beautiful entertainers, why would he need to bring Shendaya Zhang to that kind of place? Yu Shen Jun, this is where you don't understand, Shendaya Zhang hasn't made the connection, from a young age such a pure cultivator, like a piece of wood, in this world the place that will most likely teach understanding is a pleasure house, he doesn't need to personally experience it, just by looking, he'll make the connection, Shai Zun has to bring Shendaya Zhang to experience the difference between the male and female body, then he has a comparison, only then will he understand life's higher pleasures. Head manager, what comparison? Yu Shen Jun, the difference between Shai Zun and a woman. He stopped speaking, thought, that was a close one, I'd nearly said what shouldn't be said out loud, the scene I'd witnessed earlier, I'd better forget it as soon as possible. Mumbling, moving on, in summary, if not the gambling house then the brothel, when they return, if Shendaya Zhang is in a faint flush, averted gaze, that's the expression after going to a pleasure house. Head manager, you speak as if you're an expert on this. Yu Shen Jun saw his strange expression, are you going to bet or not? Are you not willing to part with that jade set, do you regret it already? The head manager replied immediately, you have my word, no reason to go back on it, I'm making this wager. Yu Shen Jun threw his stalk of grass at the small deer's head, stood up and laughed, then I'll wait to claim my prize, when the time comes don't be too hurt. His mood had improved drastically, walking a few steps, he turned around and motioned to the small deer, come here, I'll bring you to eat barbecue meat. Then he asked the head manager, did Shai Zun give it a name? Head manager, a name was given. Yu Shen Jun, what is it? Head manager, H.E.L. Yu Shen Jun paused, which character G.L. The head manager held back a laugh, it's the one you're thinking of. The two of them looked at each other, staring, Yu Shen Jun suddenly burst out, can I retract my guess on them going to the brothel? The head manager, laughing, you're going to go back on your word. Yu Shen Jun, exasperated, fine, fine. He motioned to the small deer again, Shen De Azang, want to eat barbecue meat. The small deer returned an innocent look. Shen Jiao was not eating barbecue meat, and was not at a brothel, he was currently by the lake. This lake was not far from the residence, they were seated in the pavilion, Yan Washi had his staff brine the fresh caught fish and shrimp into drunken fish and drunken shrimp, then had it served, plus a pot of wine from a good vintage year, to the observer it was truly beyond even the life of a celestial. Yan Wushi had always known how to enjoy himself and relax, although he was no stranger to a life wilding it out with no fixed address, when he didn't have to shortchange himself, he definitely did not hold back. Where did you find all these staff on short notice? Shen Qiao was a bit alarmed. There's a Yuguan close by, previously there wasn't much business, I bought it, sent over some staff from the residence, we do some food and drink business with travelers coming here to fish, they can stay overnight at the Yuguan too, no need to rush back into town. Shen Qiao smiled, only you would do such a thing. Yan Wushi, this location is close to the marvelous scenery of Banbu Peak and Yinghui Peak, naturally it draws the literati and the artists, it's not a completely forgotten place. Shen Qiao heard his meaning, this Yuguan's main purpose was for finding out news and transmitting communications, 
After all it was beside an official transit corridor, many travelers would stay the night at the Yuguan, as for the talented cooks and maid servants, they were at the express service of Yanzongju, whether or not the business did well was not important. The dishes before them had mostly been cooked with wine, fragrant and rich, intoxicating. Shen Chiao was not someone who abstained entirely from alcohol, but seeing the full cup of wine poured before him, was a little conflicted, my alcohol tolerance is not very high. This wine was the kind you could tell in one glance that got people drunk very quickly. Yan Wushi filled his own cup to the brim, then drained it, I'm about to meet my death, and you're not even willing to drink a cup of wine. Shen Chiao Knowing that he was saying this on purpose, Shen Chiao still raised his cup, drank it in two sips, it burned down his throat, he felt his entire body burning, starting with his stomach. This is Sheaju. He wondered. Yan Wushi shook his head, not quite, it's got some additional chili and pepper, so it has more bite, with seafood's colder nature, this counterbalances it. The maidservant was peeling a drunken shrimp, placed the plump flesh in the plate in front of Shen Qiao. Shen Qiao put it in his mouth, the sweet freshness of the river combined with the fragrant wine was endlessly flavorful, he set his chopsticks down, seeing the maidservant about to place more on his plate, waved his hand, I'm afraid I'll get drunk if I eat more, no more. Yan Wushi shook his head, after this meal, who knows after Banview Peak if the person seated across from you is still me, and you still think moving your chopsticks is too much, truly you wound me. Shen Qiao, stop using this event as an excuse, Hulagu is powerful, but you're also someone with no breaks, how could you die so easily? Yan Wushi sent the maidservants away, poured him another cup, blandly, variables are constant, I may be arrogant, but I can't proclaim a certain victory, this fight, Hulagu will want to demonstrate to the world that by defeating me he has long surpassed Chi Fenga, and well as flaunting the might of the Tujug. If he's in a position to kill me but doesn't, that runs contrary to his reputation, if I can kill Hulagu but don't follow through, that also runs contrary to my character. Shen Qiao quietly sighed, unable to deny him, ultimately gave up refusing the wine. Yan Wushi harbored no good intentions, he hadn't had a chance to get Shen Qiao drunk, now was an opportune time to enjoy this beauty's drunken countenance, so finding his weakness, poured him cup after cup, Shen Qiao hadn't been kidding when he said his alcohol tolerance was poor, after three cups, his cheeks were faintly flushed, his gaze not as sharp as his usual. This scene, was a rare occurrence, the next time he wanted to get Shen Qiao drunk it would not be so easy, he should have gotten someone to paint him. Yan Wushi thinking this, reached out a hand to touch the other's face, it was very hot. Shen Qiao held his forehead, didn't cause a drunken frenzy, it was just that his reactions were a bit slower, not understanding why the other had reached out a hand suddenly to touch his face, he stared in a daze for a long while, then gradually revealed a pained expression. Yan Wushi hadn't expected his alcohol tolerance to be so low, watching him wobbling about to fall over, had to move over to hold him up, do you want to throw up? Shen Qiao shook his head, with his hands covering his face, he was silent for a long time. No matter how powerful Yan Wushi was, he wouldn't be able to discern exactly what this gesture meant, but he dealt with it very directly, reaching out a hand, he pulled down the other's hands that had been covering his face. Yan Wushi was extremely perceptive, he felt the wetness on his fingers immediately. Then looking at Shen Qiao's eyes, misty and wet, it was hard to tell if it was the alcohol fumes, or if he was crying. Yan Wushi finally gave up maintaining his teasing, mirthful expression, his face gradually changed. He had just wanted to admire the beauty's drunk countenance, 
He hadn't expected the beauty to cry, it was true that Chen Chiao had cried before, and all those times he'd been affected to the core, overwhelmed with sadness. Shen Chiao's character was soft-hearted, but inside he was steel, not someone who cried at the drop of a hat. He frowned slightly, as if not expecting this movement from Yan Wuxi, but the wetness welling in his eyes was just welling, it had not yet coalesced into a falling tear. Hey Chiao, you're grieving for me, you're afraid that this fight between me and Hula Gu, I'll go and never return, is this the case? Yan Wuxi said softly. Shen Chiao sighed, the wine was to blame for the emergence of his sadness against his will, otherwise he would have appeared just a bit more somber than usual. He propped himself up on his elbow, as if to break free from Yan Wuxi's embrace, but his body on wine was like cotton, for the moment he'd lost a martial artist's agility, his efforts were a bit futile, he could only stay as is, it is a bit strange, if it was me facing Hula Gu, I would only feel that this day was inevitable, my spirits would be like the high clouds, there would be no room for anything else in my mind, but if a friend were to do the same, I'm only left with worry. Friend. Yan Wuxi played with this word in his mouth, if it was Li Qingyu and Hula Gu having this fight, would you also be this worried? Shen Qiao began to consider this earnestly, his brow furrowed tighter and tighter, but he gave no answer after a long duration. What more of an answer was needed? Yan Wuxi smiled, his hand caressed Shen Qiao's hair, hey Qiao. Shen Qiao rubbed his forehead, what? Yan Wuxi, hey Qiao. He buried his entire face into Shen Qiao's neck, crushed this name, turned it over a thousand times in his heart. Shen Qiao seemed to realize the ambiguity of their position, felt that his neck was being scratched by the other's hair and was very itchy, he couldn't help but push the other aside, he stood up and wobbled over to the lake, bent over to wash his face in the lake water, the icy water hitting him, in a short time his senses came back to him. Yan Wuxi walked over to support him, let's go back. Shen Qiao nodded, aired his grievance, I'm never drinking again. Yan Wuxi laughed at him, your own tolerance is poor, so you should practice. Shen Qiao had a headache, unless someone is having a match with Hula Gu again, otherwise no one will be able to get me to drink this parting wine again. Yan Wuxi laughed and laughed. Shen Qiao circulated his qi to dispel some of the alcohol, although his head was quite fuzzy, at least now he could walk on his own. By the time they returned to the residence it was evening, the small deer was munching on grass in the front yard, Shen Qiao's thoughts were not as clear as usual, his manners were also a bit childish, he actually went up and hugged the deer's neck, whispered to it, I'll change your name for you, okay. On the other side Yan Wuxi waved, hey Qiao, come here. Without waiting for Shen Qiao to figure out who he was calling for, the small deer had already abandoned Shen Qiao, pranced over to him. Shen Qiao held back his vexation, leaned on a pillar and rubbed his head, he thought, why was he concerned for this person back there, clearly it was unnecessary. After that, he didn't remember when he went to bed, or how he returned to his room, everything was as if in a dream, through a curtain, muddled, like a flower in the mirror or the moon in the water. When Shen Qiao woke from his long, long sleep, it was as if he had slept past every season, he felt very rested, and refreshed. After he washed up, he summoned a maidservant to ask for the Shishin, the maidservant said, you've slept a full day and night, right now it's Mao Shi, on Banbu Peak, Master and Hula Gu have probably started their fight. Shen Qiao was extremely shocked, he couldn't believe he'd slept for that long, turning his thoughts in his head, he realized it was very likely that Yan Wuxi had played him again, while he was drunk he had sealed his sleep ache appointment. But there was no time to say more, 
he grabbed his Shen Hetong Bay sword, his body a blur, he ran in the direction of Banbu Peak. End of the chapter. Stay tuned for more BL.